In this video, we'll look at lead controller design using an example. So our plant is given by g of s uh, equal to 1 divided by s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 3. Now lead controller is uh, behaves in the same way as the PD controller in the sense that it allows you to do pole placement. When I say pole placement, you can make the root locus, bend the root locus and make it go through a desired closed loop pole location in the complex plane. So obviously you are going to satisfy some transient requirements. Transient requirements determine where your desired closed loop pole locations are. So here the transient requirements are rise time is 0.9 seconds and uh, damping constant is 0.54. The controller is of this form d of s equal to kc times s plus zc divided by s plus pc here the magnitude of pc is greater than the magnitude of zc this means that zc is closer to the imaginary axis as compared to pc uh, kc is the proportional constant so here we have the root locus of the plant that i uh, just showed you this is the original lo root locus um, that is the damping uh, constant zeta equal to 0.454 that's the first constraint so we draw the constant damping line like so uh, the second constraint rise time equal to 0.9 seconds will give you omega n equal to 2 this black curve is the circle of uh, omega n equal to 2 and uh, where the two curves intersect you're going to get the desired location of the closed loop pole SD which is minus 1.1 plus 1.7 I now as you see the original root locus doesn't pass through this so no matter how much you change your proportional gain K you'll never get to this closed loop location that's why you need to bend the root locus that's the focus of the lead controller design so let's look at what happens to the steady state error when you do lead controller. So the error expression is R divided by 1 plus dg. The steady state error obviously is given by limit as s tends to 0 s e of s. I have replaced here R with the step function. So we are doing steady state error for the step, uh, step input. Now with this limit uh, s cancels with s and then uh, take limit as s tends to 0 of g now this is going to be a constant now if you don't have the lead controller then you don't have this part here so you'll have a steady state error as 1 divided by 1 plus kc times limit as s tends to 0 of g but as soon as you put in the lead controller then you get this factor here zc divided by pc now by design zc is less than the magnitude of zc is less than pc therefore this number is going to be less than 1 which essentially means that the denominator is going to be smaller than what it was before which essentially tells you that the lead controller increases steady state error so one of the goals of uh, when you design even though there is no explicit uh, steady state error constraint you would like to uh, minimize the increase in steady state error so you won't want to have zc divided by pc as large as possible you can have zc and pc in these three locations uh, given that your desired closed loop pole locations right here you could either have both of them to the right of the closed loop pole location or you could have zc to the right and pc to the left or you could have both of them to the left of uh, the closed loop pole location uh, this theta c as we'll see later is the angle contributed by the, um, the lead controller and this is uh, determined as soon as you determine where your location of the closed loop pole is so the first point is selection of uh, zc so what we'll do is uh, arbitrarily select zc and then we'll do find out where pc is now if you look here zc3 divided by pc3 is greater than zc2 divided by pc2 which is greater than zc1 uh, divided by pc1 so you want to have the largest of these to minimize the uh, effect on steady state error so you would select zc3 divided by pc3 since what we are saying is we'll put zc equal to zc3 and pc equal to pc3 in the sense we'll select this configuration where both the zero and pole are to the left of 
the uh, desired uh, closed loop pole location. Uh, now we'll just mark out our uh, various parameters. Uh, zeta omega n is the real part of the desired closed loop pole location. Omega d is the imaginary part of the desired clo pole loop, uh, closed loop pole location. Uh, phi zc is the angle that the vector, this vector, makes with the positive direction of the uh, real axis. Uh, phi pc is the angle that this vector makes with the positive direction of the uh, real axis. So you can write an expression for this distance pc which is the location of the um, controller pole uh, pc equal to this distance which is zeta omega n plus this distance which is omega d this distance divided by tan pc. So all we have need to do is find an expression for phi pc. So we can write the characteristic equation c equal to 1 plus dg and evaluate the characteristic equation at s equal to st. Since this st will lie on the root locus, it satisfies the characteristic equation. So this equation holds. So I can write dg evaluated s equal to st is equal to minus 1. We take the angles on both sides. So angle of the left hand side equal to angle of the right hand side. The angle of minus 1 is 2n plus 1 pi angle on the left hand side is essentially angle of the controller at s equal to st plus angle of the plant at s equal to st. Uh, so we'll call the angle of the controller as theta c and angle of the plant as phi g. So I can write uh, an angle for the uh, angle contributed by the controller theta c is 2n plus 1 pi minus phi g. So as soon as you select sd, uh, phi g gets fixed which means theta c gets fixed. So angle of the controller can also be written as angle of SD minus ZC divided by SD minus PC, which is again theta C. Angle of this expression here is angle of SD minus ZC minus angle of SD minus PC. SD minus ZC is this vector and SD minus PC is this vector. So this expression here is phi zc minus phi pc which is equal to theta c. So you can write phi pc as phi zc minus theta c. So let's apply this to our problem at hand. So we'll uh, select the location of the zero to the left of the desired closed loop pole location. This desired co closed loop pole location is at minus 1.1 1 .1 plus 1.7i. We'll select this is done arbitrarily now. Uh, location of the close uh, controller pole at minus 1.6. Now we can find psi zc which is the angle made by this vector st minus zc which is essentially the numerator of the um, lead controller. We end up getting that as 1.283 radian. The angle contributed by the plant is 2.84 radian therefore we can find the angle of the controller theta c as 0 0.3018 radian. So in case theta c happens to be greater than 50 degrees, you convert that to radian see what the value is, you will need two controllers one on top of each other. This is not. So we are okay with one controller. So we can write an expression for phi z phi pc as psi zc minus theta c which is 0 0.9812 radian. From that we can find the location of the pole, controller pole as 2.2373. And then we need to find the proportional gain. The proportional gain is given by 1 divided by modulus of gl evaluated as equal to st. Here gl is the controller transfer function. Uh, mu multiplied by the plant both evaluated at s equal to sd that ends up being 9.6396. Now what I did was I go went ahead and plotted the lead compensated root locus which is this blue curve with squares. The Just the plain old proportional compensated uh, plant is right here the green with the circles as you can notice this doesn't pass through the desired closed loop pole location but the lead compensated system uh, does. So that's the end of lead compensated uh, root locus design.